Hello, hello, hello! It's a brand new day, and this is our morning connection. How are you doing this morning? I am Skip Corp. I'm so glad to be here with you. I'm so glad you're here joining me, going through this journey of life together, just you and me. Just two men a little bit older. We look at the world a little bit differently. Uh, we learn from uh, all of our references of success, our failures. Uh, we have this unique perspective looking at life. We gotta take advantage of every single day. I say this, you know, when we're a little bit older, we've got more time behind us than we do in front of us. We gotta take on the day with a sense of urgency. And that's what I'm here to remind you of every single day. Let's take on the day with a sense of urgency. I'm here to remind you of who you really, who you really are and what you're all about take on the day. Hey, did you go to bed last night with a plan, something that was going to put you ahead? You were determined to do today, get you waking up with excitement. It was marinating all night when you were sleeping. So you woke up uh, anticipating something in some small way that was going to put you ahead. That's what uh, I want to be one of our, our disciplines uh, as the music comes on, as you come to join me for this morning connection, right? Uh, give you some things to think about every single day from our journey in life, from our unique perspective in this morning connection. I want to talk about how to believe in yourself when no one else does. How to believe in yourself when no one else does, right? Come on, is there anything that's more frustrating? I mean, you, uh, you know, summon up the courage, the confidence to go to that place that you've never been before. It was just something in that all important imagination that I talk about. You got yourself to imagine. Uh, you got yourself to actually take action where, you know, uh, maybe in the past or other people they talk about, they can't actually take action. You got up early in the morning. Uh, you, uh, you invested in your willpower, focus, energy, and time, your, your emotion, uh, you know, your, your fears. You stepped up. Right? You did what it took where other men haven't. And you've done that before in the past. You haven't got those references of success. But now you're, you want to go into that new area. All right? And... It, it took so much, and you have people who love and care about you. Maybe people don't, and it just doesn't think, seem like they're interested, right? They're not as passionate about it as you are. Uh, maybe you're taking that as, and they just don't believe that you can do it, right? And it took all this um, courage for you to even go this far where other men don't. And sometimes it can be so disappointing when we don't get that support. Uh, from other people. They don't think we can do it, right? Sometimes it just crushes, man. And, you know, forget about the journey, it, the, the, the goal that you have, that achievement that you have, right? Sometimes, you know, the, the, the achievement that we're going for, that, that goal that's so ambitious that other people don't uh, believe we can do it, sometimes we don't even totally believe that we can do it, right? Sometimes it's not that goal, that achievement, that experience that uh, we want so badly, all right? It's, it's feelings and emotions that we want. A lot of times, if you really track back why you're doing everything, in a lot of ways, it's to connect with yourself, show yourself, prove to yourself who you really are and what you're all about. A lot of times, it's to connect, to share it with other people, all right? So if you're a part of what you're doing is to help other people to connect with other people and not just about you, and right from the beginning, they don't believe in your, you. That's the purpose, <laughs> right? And people don't believe. It could be a very lonely place. It could be uh, very disappointing. If you think about it, why even go on this journey? It's tough enough as it is. I'm here to connect with people. I'm already disconnecting with other people. I'm disappointed in other people. How to believe in yourself when other people don't. I sh I'm sure that you felt this way many, many times at this age. And you're going to feel it. In the future, I want to talk uh, about let's 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 break that down a little bit more. Today. I got a lot of things uh, to to share with you to think about because if it isn't happening to you right now, it's going to happen. <laughs> because I know you're driven. You want more in life. Uh, you're going to involve other people. You want to do it for other people. You're going to come into those uh, instances where you're an eleven out of ten. You're an eleven out of ten uh, determined, uh, passionate about accomplishing something and. You know, even if uh, the people around you, they're not going to be an 11 out of 10, <laughs> 6, 7, maybe they don't even believe in it. It could be uh, very uh, disheartening, discouraging right from the beginning. Right? So I want to talk about that a little bit more. Kind of looking at myself, guys, I tell you, you know, we take care of our bodies if you're watching this morning connection. I mean, it's about the mind. It's about the heart. It's about the gut. 
mental toughness condition. Got to make sure I get that in today, right? That's what this morning connection is all about. But you want to be the total package, right? Mind, spirit, soul, right? Your legacy. You got bigger things that, that you want. That's why you're watching this morning connection. Also, your physical body, right? A lot of the men who are here, most of the men, right? Fitness is a, a big part of life, especially as we get older, right? I want to be that physical example of energy, of passion, but, uh, health and fitness uh, for you. You know, let's go through this. Let's do it all. Let's uh, take care of ourselves. Well, one thing is that I just recently started uh, doing, I want to share a little find that I have is, is my skin care, right? You know, kind of didn't really take too good. Um, my skin, you know, you know, I'm not really into all that, uh, you know, those little details that, I don't know, that type of stuff, you know. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to be 57 years old here in just about a month or so. And I uh, started seeing some pictures with my young, beautiful wife. <laughs> and I'm thinking, skin is looking a little dry there, you know. So I, this great find that I want to share with you, it's uh, this company, uh, Brickle, all right. And I just want to share this time in partnership with them. And I just started in my regimen. And I want to just tell you, this complete skin care, I mean, this, this company just totally professional, something that I can certainly align myself with. Uh, this is a little starter package it comes with. And so, you know, I'm, I'm on a regimen uh, to look youthful, uh, take care of my body inside out, my mind inside out, to stay young and energetic. And uh, it's just this setup yeah, from shaving cream uh, to anti-aging deal, face mask, uh, uh, aftershave, moisturizer, <laughs> facial scrubs, right uh, night serum you know last night I did a little uh, facial scrub with a little night serum so if you see me even looking even more youthful energetic it's this regimen <laughs> that I'm on I'm excited about it you know it's all about taking care of yourself maybe something I wouldn't do in the past important to me uh, now so I'm gonna put that link below I want you to uh, go there there this that this starter package all right. Uh, just click the link that I have below, and if you're watching it, uh, I'll have that link below after the show. You get that that beautifully presented uh, uh, presentation, top of line uh, company. It smells really good. <laughs> All right, uh, and they're shipping you that starting package is absolutely free. You just pay the shipping, which is, I think is uh, six ninety five. And my wife can uh, tell you that. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited. So if you're if it looks like I have even more energy, <laughs> all right, uh, more passion, enthusiasm, take a look at my, my growth and my skincare uh, regimen, all uh, from the great uh, people from Brickell. So I just wanted to share that with you, going as a partnership, right? So uh, watch that. I know that if you're a lot like me, you want to take care of yourself, take care of body, that skincare, all important to you too. All right, so uh, let's talk about it. how to believe in yourself when no one else does. And I, I hear this a lot as I help men through my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, you know, there's one thing that, uh, that I would say, it is very common, and, and I, I study success. I, I study what makes uh, men, uh, what makes th them success, what drives them, always looking for that edge. One thing that I, I've uh, noticed, uh, I've mentioned this because this is something new to me because I, I don't, uh, I haven't used this strategy, my brain doesn't work this way, is uh, some of the, the, the most successful men who you know, maybe you follow him on the internet and you think, wow, this guy's amazing. And he'll talk about all the people who didn't believe in him in the, the past, when he was just struggling, when he was just trying to make it. And one thing I, I'll always share is pain is a tool, use it. A lot of times, if you're like me, I've had all these ambitious goals. I want to have the big house on the hill and this, this, and all these cars, whatever. I'm personally uh, not driven by things that way. It's about achievements, about accomplishment, <laughs> right? That's that's how I'm driven, you know, uh, of connection, uh, uh, making a difference more than things. That's just me, and a lot of men who you know are uh, who are attracted to this message are the same way, right? But all those great things, I have looked at uh, some of my goal uh, sheets, uh, the list of what I was going to do with my life, and all the positive things, you know, a lot of times I wasn't, those positive experience didn't drive me as much as, they didn't drive me as much as uh, the things that I just had to, the pain I had to get out of that I wanted to avoid more than anything else. 
Okay, those were the things that really drove me. And what I realized is that a lot of the, the men that you respect and admire, uh, they uh, remember that pain, how disappointed they were when someone didn't believe in them, when uh, they were just starting out. Now here they are successful. They'll never forget. They make a point to never forget. They can even name one of those people who didn't believe in them or several who laughed at their dreams and their vision. And they used that fire. I will show them. See, now, that was a little strange to me because I, I don't, that's a, a strategy that I don't uh, employ, right? But I was, I, I was fascinated and I realized it was that pain, that pain that they, they still hang on to this day as a source uh, of motivation. That pain sometimes is your biggest driving force and they hung on to it. So let's break it down. You have this ambitious dream. The chances are great that most people don't do it, can't do it. Uh, they, they won't do it. And you're asking yourself to do it, to be, let's say, the one out of 10, right? The one out of 100, right? If, if it's not that common, right, how can you expect people, you know, there aren't that, those people who do that one out of 100 thing, uh, that special person walk around. So it's foreign to them. What you're trying to do, you should take that as a signal of the uniqueness uh, and be proud of yourself to be even going on this journey. But to expect people, even not having expectations on people at all, is setting you up uh, for uh, disappointment. People got their own lives, they got their own dreams, they got their own beliefs. Now, again, I, I, another thing, I'm not into focusing on the haters or whatever, but, but I understand now why some of the most successful men who I admire focus on the haters. They're using that pain as a driving force. But if, if that's too much, boy, right? Uh, expecting other people to get you, get your dreams. You've done all the research. You took all the time to get all the courage, right? Uh, you're the expert. You broke it down. You put all this time into it. It's foreign to them. They don't know. They don't. They haven't seen people accomplish that. They haven't seen the one out of 100 walking around. So to expect them to believe in you, all right, to, and, 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 and you're hinging your belief in yourself, that's so important, on other people, uh, you shouldn't expect that. Uh, expecting other people to believe in you um, and your dreams when they don't know anything about it, it's not important to them, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Number one, I want you to either uh, take that sting of that expectation from other people just totally off the table so you don't have to worry about that, <laughs> all right? Don't let it distract you. Don't let it disappoint you. Right? Uh, don't, uh, don't, don't let it defeat you right from the beginning. It's normal. All right? What's not normal is you want to be that elite person, elite thinker, elite doer. That's what makes it special. So either uh, take that sting away when you want, need to believe in yourself when other people don't, or take it in. Use it as pain. You will show them. Right? You don't believe in me. That disappoints me, but use that pain <laughs> either way, <laughs> right? Uh, again, uh, everything, this is about mindset. It's about heart. It's about gut. It's about mental toughness, conditioning, right? It's not the events in your life. It's not what that person thinks about you. It's not even, it's what you think of you. It's not the events in your life that this uh, person believes in me and that that's going to make me succeed or this person doesn't believe me and that makes me succeed or this person. A lot of times, uh, here's something to think about if you're expecting people to believe in you uh, and you're disappointed uh, how, when you want to believe in yourself when no one else does. A lot of times we do things and, and just think about that because a lot of times we say we say that we are going to do things. We're going to make these things happen. Again, a lot of times, if you really think about it, we do things to connect with other people. That's one thing is like, if you want to be special, unique, and different, as Tony Robbins says, you know, that means you're going to disconnect yourself from other people. So your uniqueness, that being that one out of 100, you've disconnected yourself from people where connection is uh, something that you think they should believe in and, and, and embrace, right? Um, you know, uh, you know that connection may be what you want. A lot of times when you say, I've got this unique dream, I've got this ambition, I'm going to be this one out of a hundred. And they do believe in you, they do believe in you. You know, a lot of guys I, I talk to, if you really think about it, then they have that connection with that other person. And really, it wasn't about the goal. It wasn't about that achievement. It's about connection. They got it without even doing the work. They got it without even doing the work. 
And then they wonder why they only have that extra oomph and drive, why they can't dot every I, cross every T, they can't keep on going. Right? Because it wasn't about this goal they were talking about, it was connection. They got it with so many people believing them without even doing the work. Think about that. Right, the mind, how we see the events in the world, uh, and I, I talk about this too. If you're a little bit older, right, a lot of people say, "Wow, you have so much potential." I remember that when I was younger, and it would make me feel so good. And, and I, I look back now, uh, you know, you get older and you still haven't accomplished all the things you want, and then you're thinking, "Screw this potential thing! I got to start doing it. I'm getting too old to just live on potential. It's time to start doing it." Hearing the word potential having people believe in you and yourself and your potential, it's painful when you don't do it, right? But when I look back, when people would believe in me, because why would I want to achieve those things? To what? To prove to myself that I'm good enough just to do it, whatever the reasons, to show other people, to connect with other people, all right? When they, I did connect with them, they said, wow, you're amazing. You're awesome. I believe in you. You have so much potential. You know, I think that was the thing that took off the edge uh, again, to stay up a little bit later and I, to actually do it, to take more risks, take more chances, uh, get coaching, all right, uh, face my biggest fears, to do something I wouldn't normally do. Uh, it took the edge off. It's like having a snack before the big meal that you say you want, right? That, that connection, they believed in me so much. A lot of things to think about if you expect other people to believe in you uh, when you're looking to uh, go through this journey. If you want to accomplish these things, right? Uh, and you want to believe in yourself, uh, right? And, and how to believe in yourself when no one else does. So uh, I hope those things, um, <laughs> I can tell I think about this stuff a lot, and just obsess with why we as people do the things uh, that we do, and uh, maybe why we can't get ourselves to do the things that we want. And so when we talk about uh, this, how to believe in yourself. It's so important. If we believe we can, we'll do something every single day. You'd be watching this morning connection every single day. If you believe uh, that this is, you're going to get one distinction, one strategy, you're going to get uh, the mindset, just a little bit more mental toughness every single day. If you believed in yourself, you would continue to watch this every single day. Right? That belief in yourself is so important. So it starts with you, but I understand. I totally, I understand. It's tough to believe in yourself when no one else does. So maybe this gave you some insight. Hey, I want you to go on a personal development journey with me that starts with your physical body. We know, we know when we get uh, our disciplines, our, our training, our eating, our working out, our exercise, our health, our fitness, we have that energy and enthusiasm. We know when we are on track with our eating and uh, our training that it's the cornerstone, it's the foundation of having an amazing life. We know that, right? But sometimes, uh, the challenge is that uh, we're a little uncertain with the strategies, the training strategies, the eating strategies. Uh, I want you to join my, my 12-week fitness transformation journey that's specifically designed for older men with busy, productive lives. Now, it's starting real soon. You've got to take action. You've got to take action. I want you to click the link at skiplacore.com front slash transformation. Skiplacore.com front slash transformation. Uh, fill out that questionnaire. Play all out. Tell me about... Uh, what you've done in the past, what you want with your physical body, why you must do it now. Uh, you're a little bit older, you got a busy, productive life, you want the strategies that work, you do not, don't want to go in excess, maybe you did when you were younger, or like those passionate fitness experts. Here I again, here I am, again, at almost 57 years old, fit, passionate, energy, I want to give you the strategies, the mindset, uh, the training strategies, the eating strategies. It's three hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, three separate sessions. That's where we start. You and I, we connect, all right? And then we go on a journey with the other men, uh, 12 weeks, uh, group coaching sessions. But the great thing is you, you connect with me, text, phone calls, we become really partners in this journey. So if you love the connection that we've developed during this morning connection, you really want to take it to the next level, right, and go on this 12-week fitness transformation journey that is specifically designed for older men with busy productive lives. What I guarantee you after this time, besides the connection, the camaraderie, uh, the mindset, the energy, uh, the training and eating strategies, uh, when it comes to your health and fitness, if you're confused because there's so much information out there, you just want to be able to just set and forget it. You want to uh, know what you're doing with certainty and confidence. It doesn't matter if you, this is the first time in your life uh, where you're concentrating on your fitness or you're coming back after left. You just want to take to the next level. You'll know what to do. It'll just be a matter of doing it.
That's what uh, I guarantee you this journey will do for you. And that's a great place to be. A lot of times we can't take action because we're just uncertain. We don't have uh, that confidence. I believe in you. I know you can. I've helped so many men just like you. I specialize in helping men just like you, older men with busy product fest. You got this. I will help you do this. So uh, go to skippelcore.com front slash transformation and fill out the question. I'll call you today. I had like five calls with men just yesterday because it's getting down to the end. You got to take action now. Hey, if there's anything I talk about, right, you want to take your entire life to the next level. It, it's so great. A lot of guys, they come to me for fitness. Right, we have two or three coaching sessions and they realize there's so much more. <laughs> there's so much more. We go on a journey to take their entire life to the next level. If you want to talk to me about that, if you think a lot of this stuff applies to you, how am I, how am I being able to climb inside your mind and heart? How do I know this stuff? Because I help out men like you, like me, all the time. Right? Our, our experiences are common. You just may not know. The greatest thing, the strategies, the solutions are common too. All right, so go to talkwithskip.com, talkwithskip.com. If you want to talk, we set up 10 or 15 minutes. It would be nice to connect with you. See if you, know, you want to go on this journey. Take action now. Reach out. I'm looking forward to talk to you. All right, go to talkwithskip.com. So excited here today, right? Okay, hey, let's take on today with the, a sense of urgency. Let's use our power. Let's use uh, uh, our talent to the fullest. All right, let's allocate our willpower, focus, energy to take on this day with a sense of urgency. Uh, let's uh, work out. <laughs> let's eat right, okay, with that sense of urgency. Let's take care of our, our skin, right, uh, our presentation. Uh, click that link down uh, below. Uh, get your uh, Brickell uh, starter package right there. Absolutely free. You just pay that shipping. But let's take care of everything, all the details with a sense of urgency. Let's produce, all right, on our job, our business with a sense of urgency. Let's love and connect. Let's take advantage of every single day with that sense of urgency. Hey, remember everything life runs in patterns. I don't care how complex the pattern is. You will figure out if you're resourceful, if you're gritty, everything in life runs in patterns. All right, some are more complex than others. Some you'll get more than others. Um, there's even a pattern on how to believe in yourself when no one else does. All right, so you, so you just keep on keeping on. Remember that, expect the best from yourself today. Expect the best from your efforts. Expect the best from other people. They'll believe in you. They'll get you. It just may take a little bit of time, right? They will get you. How can they not get you? Get you. How can they not get you? You are a force to be reckoned with. Have a great day. <laughs>